thanks everyone for joining today. So we have a very quick overview. So there, uh, we all know that the Teams app that are available on last screen across uh, different platforms, Office and Outlook. Now they're also available on the Android platforms on mobile. So uh, my name is Sheena and I'm from the Office mobile team. And we want to introduce today and we want your feedback that how do these apps currently flow into Office and Outlook Mobile and how can you test this experience? So we have a short demo lined up today, so which Gary will take you through how you can access these apps inside Office Mobile. And I'll also, uh, I'm not sure how many of you actually know what Office Mobile app does. So I'll also go through a quick overview of the app itself. Office Mobile is basically, it's a, Content Hub, so you can access all your Word, Excel, PowerPoint files, all your content across the M365 is something that uh, you can access inside Office. So right now we have the content from Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and we're slowly building up on adding more content. You can access your Teams meetings. You can access all the recordings and uh, other content types that you can access are media, uh, different media content types like images, voice, your SharePoint files and all your uh, stream files as well. And apart from this, apart from just accessing the content and using the different functionalities that are available with the content, we also have a lot of actions related to PDFs and images, such as uh, sharing, collating images, and also extracting text, and also doing a lot of annotations on PDFs. So all of those kind of actions are available inside Office app. And yes, also, uh, every tool that you can think of, you know, we're trying to build that would make productivity easier for our users is something that we uh, are envisioning for Office Mobile. And then the next thing is, yes, being a Microsoft 365 app, it's secure by design. So the user data, everything is secured here. So that's the basic overview of what Office Mobile does. Now, I'll just give a brief idea of where we are in terms of uh, how this app is used. So. Currently, we have a monthly active users of 140 million plus, and even the monthly active devices are 174 million plus. And it's rated one of the top 10 productivity apps on Google Android Store. So yes, I would tell you to check out this app and you know explore this for building your Teams app for this Office Mobile app as well. So. Uh, now that we talk about the apps, the Teams apps that are now being available on Office and Drive, we are focusing on the Teams personal tab apps, so the apps with launch pages. So we do not support the ones with chat pages, but the ones with personal tabs are supported on Office Mobile and also on Outlook Mobile. So currently this feature is in preview in Office Mobile and it's very soon, in, within a month or so, it will soon come on Outlook Android as well. And uh, the iOS will a fast follow post that. So we're working on that, but we uh, very soon will get that there. So to test it out, uh, you can join the beta program in the Office uh, in the Office uh, Apps Google Play Store, and you can join the beta. You can click on the join under the beta section. Join the beta section, and the apps that will start showing in Office Mobile will be built using the Microsoft Teams JS version two. So we are sharing sharing the links in the chat as well, where you can look at how different, uh, like how can you upgrade your app using the Teams toolkit and how what all are the prerequisites for building these kind of apps. And then the Teams app manifest also has to be a version of 1.13. So uh, currently, if you go to the Play Store, so any Android, uh, so the Office app Android version of the one that we are stating here, anything about this will support this feature. So currently, the apps that are available are Power BI, Mural, and SurveyMonkey. So these are available in the preview for testing. So, so we also have a sample app, Northwind Orders. So I am not somehow able to run this, but uh, it's okay. Uh, I think once Guy gives us the demo, it will be very well. Uh, you know, you can understand how the app can run. Okay, over to you, Gary. I think let's run through the demo once. Perfect. Thanks, Sheila. Okay, let's share my screen. 
So uh, as Sheena mentioned, so we're going to have a quick demo here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can set up your developer tenant, uh, the tenant that you're using, so that you can basically build a custom app and uh, have that running uh, in the Android Office app. Uh, and we're going to do this all locally as well. So I'm going to run through all the steps uh, to basically enable you to get started uh, building these new apps that, that can be surfaced uh, in the Android mobile app. So the first thing to mention is this is in preview. So you're going to need to be on, a, on the target uh, release. Um, so uh, in a developer tenant, it's not enabled uh, by default. So if you come into the admin center and you go in settings and organizational uh, profile, uh, go to the release preferences and change that to targeted release for everyone. Just to note uh, that it takes five days for the office parts to provision, and it does actually take all those five days. Uh, I've tested it recently, and um, it's something that uh, hopefully we're going to speed up. But uh, yeah. Definitely something that you're going to need to just go and switch on if you haven't done already. If you have, then perfect. Um, what I'm going to suggest as well is we're going to go through this is we can run a virtual version of an Android phone on our machines. Uh, there is a studio that's available. It's uh, it can be used on Windows, on Mac and uh, Linux and Chrome OS as well. Um, so I'm going to show this on a Mac, but it'll be exactly the same on, on Windows or whichever operating um, system you prefer. So those two prerequisites out of the way. I'm going to show you a running app. Uh, so this is just a very basic app, which I've scaffolded using Teams Toolkit um, in Visual Studio Code. Uh, just as simple as creating a new app and then selecting the SSO enabled personal tab, um, which is extended, uh, extended that Teams app across Microsoft 365. So that's all I've done. I've gone through that wizard. I've created the, uh, the project. I've hit F5. Things have been provisioned in the background that Toolkit has, has handled. Uh, for me, and you can see that it is actually running in the terminal. One thing to note, there is a slight modification that I've had to make here. And um, because we're running in a mobile device, a virtual device, it doesn't know what local host is. And um, so at, by default, everything runs through through local host through through the toolkit. Um, what I, what I've done is I've added some configuration options in here, and I've run ngrok in the background just so I, ha I have a tunnel from that device to um, to my machine. Um, so it's something that you you'll you'll need to do. Um, you don't have to use ngrok; you can use any other tunneling service. Um, but you need to tell uh, the uh, uh, the the add this into the app manifest so that it knows not to go to, to local host. Um, if I go into the template, I'll scroll down to the section where this configuration option is used. Um, so we have here this config manifest uh, FX resource front end hosting. Basically, it's just injecting uh, those ngrok values into the manifest so that when that's published into Teams, it, it's all wired up correctly. And the same for the valid domains as well. So this app is running and I'm going to skip back to my browser and show you this. So I've come to office.com in my web browser. I can access the app through the uh, the the apps pane. So I can see there's an extend across uh, Outlook and Office. There we are. This is my local app that was running Visual Studio Code. Um, this is now running in uh, my web browser. So let's go through the steps to get this running on an Android device. So here we have our Android device, which is running. So this is using the Android Studio, and I'm just going to quickly bring this up. So in the Studio, when you've installed it, there's a virtual device manager. So here's where you can create different devices uh, to use. You'll probably get one by default. Just a bit of a warning, it doesn't include the Play Store, which you will need. So when you go to create device, you can choose the different hardware, which is uh, you can choose any pixel. So pixel six, go to next, and it will give you a list of operating systems to use. Pick the latest, um, but you'll see that there'll be images that actually contain Google Play um, Store in there. So make sure that you select one that has the store. Otherwise, you'll have to start again because you'll think, where's the store? And I can't install the apps. Um, so I've I have this running. Um, so let's switch to the um, the actual Android device, um, and I have the Play Store open. So open the Play Store, search for Office in the store, 
and you'll find the the Office Microsoft 365 app. Um, so let's just uh, click into that to view some details. Um, so Sheena mentioned um, to get this working uh, to display apps um, in, in the Office app, you actually need to join the beta program in here. So when you actually first install this, you'll need to uh, just en enroll yourself into the uh, into the beta program. It won't take too long. It'll take a few moments for that to, uh, to provision. Uh, but once you're in, um, then you can open the app and, and have these new features. So let's open the app. So this is the Office app that is, is running. I've already signed in, so I've signed into the, the same tenant which I showed the, the web browser. So the first thing that you'll want to do um, is to actually go into the settings in this app and you will want to enable remote debugging. So come in and turn that on and I'll show you how you can remote debug through Edge um, for, the, uh, for, for the code that's actually running on the device. So if I come back to the home screen again, we've got the the apps uh, section, same as what we had in the web browser. Uh, we have all the different actions that Sheena was mentioning um, previously. And if I scroll to the side, we've got the Power BI app, Survey Monkey, and we have our Extend uh, across uh, Teams, Outlook, and Office app. I can click that, and it opens up the app, which uh, is the same. It's the same app as which was running in my browser. Um, so now. OK, great. I've got this running. How do I debug this? Well, handily, if I go to Edge, um, Edge has the ability to inspect uh, Android devices. So if you go to Edge colon slash slash inspect and you have the emulator running, you have the ability to uh, open the dev tools. If you click the inspect button, here it opens the dev tools and we can inspect the uh, running code. So here we are, the TypeScript files. So index, uh, the components, and there we are, our tab file. And actually, if I show a bit more code, we've got the welcome file here. So I can set breakpoints like I normally would. I can actually then click around in the uh, in the actual device, uh, and that will trigger um, the breakpoints to fire. Um, and that is it. Uh, back to you, Sheena, for, for the summary. Thanks, Gary, for the quick overview. So quickly. We've had a good demo so far. I what I would require from you guys is uh, if you could try out this experience and share your feedback with us, so that you know we can build better features and let us know how do you feel about this feature and uh, what more tools would you need to make this a more seamless experience. So yeah, thanks everyone for going through this demo. Excellent, really cool. Thank you, Sheena. Thank you, Gary. Uh, awesome, st awesome stuff. So really, really cool. I wasn't that that Edge uh, Chrome trick was pretty wild. Uh, so super, super cool. Good, good to get that one recorded. Mm -hmm.